Stefan Rodriguez was born with severe birth defects caused by the Zika virus. Now 18 months, he will never be able to walk or talk. Oh, that's it. He's having seizures now. His mom, Valerie, tested positive at the height of the Zika epidemic in 2016, when all pregnant women in Puerto Rico were tested for free. The Zika epidemic really increased the number of birth defects in places where we had Zika. It's irrefutable. I mean, Dr. Carmen Zaria is a longtime OBGYN at University Hospital in San Juan. She says few of the island's 4,000 Zika babies have problems as devastating as Stefan's. But Zika can cause many other developmental issues too, like eyesight and hearing problems. And this is why I believe that testing during pregnancy is so important. In the first nine months of 2017, testing identified another 1,500 pregnant women with Zika. Then, in September, Hurricane Maria slammed into Puerto Rico. Maria destroyed the island and crippled the health care system, including many of the systems set up to respond to Zika. We had a catastrophe. We stopped the testing. The health care system collapsed. While the island's health care system came back to life, the Zika testing program did not. They concluded, the Department of Health concluded that there is no Zika. The epidemic ended the day of the hurricane. Assistant Secretary of Health Concepcion Canonas Delongo claims the Zika testing program has been back up and running and says there is no current evidence of the virus. So far, we are not detecting new cases of Zika. She also says within three weeks of the hurricane, her department sent Zika samples to the CDC lab in Atlanta for analysis. But in an email, CDC officials refuted that, saying, the Puerto Rico Health Department did not send Zika tests to the CDC after Hurricane Maria. There was no Zika testing ever done since September 2017, since the hurricane. So we have no way of knowing if we are still having transmission or not. Doctors began questioning why the health department was misrepresenting the Zika response and risk. Dr. Alberto de la Vega is chief of the high-risk pregnancy unit at University Hospital. This is an island with a lot of economic problems. Zika is bad business, so the economic burden is huge. Physicians say they fear the Puerto Rican government is more interested in protecting tourism than public health. There's even evidence that the hurricane created more breeding grounds for mosquitoes. Scientists from a private research group placed mosquito traps around San Juan neighborhoods. If they catch more than three of the Zika-carrying species per trap, the Zika risk is considered significant. Scientist Marianne Ortiz says these days when they study what's in the traps, the numbers are three times that. There were more breeding sites because the, the debris from the hurricane, and so we saw places where we never saw larvae before. We were finding larvae because, they, they, because of the rain. There were many more breeding sites uh, now available. With public health officials claiming no new cases on the island, Dr. Zaria took matters into her own hands. She teamed up with the CDC to start a new testing program for pregnant women. We're going to do testing to all pregnant women in our clinic during every trimester. I hope it's gone. I would love to have not to work with it. I want to be ready. I want the evidence. If there's no Zika, fantastic. If there's a Zika, let's work on this. With a team of doctors, she continued testing through spring, summer, and now into the fall with alarming results. The percentage of pregnant women testing positive for Zika today is almost as high as it was at the height of the epidemic in 2016. In this new study of 280 women, 9% tested positive. When Stefan's family celebrated his first birthday, they decided on a superhero theme and dressed him like Clark Kent. He's our little superhero. He's amazing. For Stefan, there is no cure. For the rest of the population, there is no vaccine. 26,000 births are expected this year, with no formal Zika testing program in place. 
For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Beth Murphy in San Juan, Puerto Rico.